Howdy people, now um, this is the engine of that Craftsman we had yesterday or the day before um, that we done that battery di diagnostics on. Um, the problem with that more was even though the valve lash was set correctly um, it wouldn't start, too much compression in the engine. So where do you go from there? The best thing to do is you know, remove the spark plug to get that compression out of the engine. You could turn the engine, the flywheel, by hand clockwise um, and you'll see both valves open and closing. The problem with this more was the intake valve. Um, the intake valve is supposed to bump open slightly just before top dead center to relieve the compression on the engine. This wasn't happening. As, as we rolled over towards top dead center, that valve was just staying shut. So it has to be camshaft related. Uh, you know, unless it's, you know, you have a, a, what can also give you that symptom is a, a gap in the intake valve. Too much of a gap between the, the rocker arm and the valve stem. If it's not set, set correctly, that, that could do it too, but um, the valves were set correctly. So always check that first, of course. Um, now, uh, so the engine has to come off. It's not as dif di you know, difficult as it seems, really. You've got four bolts underneath, disconnect your fuel, clamp it off, um, stuff like that, really. You can't really go wrong. You've got to drop the clutch out of underneath, but that's just one bolt, you know, drop it down. Um, and then you can turn your engine on our back, and then you have a sump here, a series of bolts. Just take them all out. You have your oil seal here. Um, don't go crazy when you take these off if you have a little rubber hammer or something just tap a few taps here and there just and slide it straight up off the shaft just straight up off the shaft now so camshaft issues and um, the first thing you'll see here is your oil slinger under onto the governor here and um, that just pulls straight up off the camshaft there you can see it just straight up put it to one side now, this is what your camshaft is supposed to look like. You have this little doohickey here on the end of the camshaft. And if you can see that there, this little guy here is sitting slightly proud of the, um, of the cam here, the cam lobe. And what happens when the engine, and that, what that, that you know that pushes up the lifter and bumps open that valve. What's happening with this is, um, and, you know, when the engine starts, the revolutions will cause this to swing out, and then it's flush again. When the engine stops, it goes this way again. That will hit the lifter, it's pushing the push rod and opening the valve. So that's what it's supposed to be like. Now, um, this is the camshaft in the engine, and let's have a look. It's gone, missing. Fell off it completely. And here's what's left of it here. Some of it. You know, he's, uh, the owner is kind of unlucky in one sense and lucky in another that it didn't, you know, that it didn't wreck, the, wreck his engine because the <laughs> it's in bits. Um, now, really the worst part of this job is just getting this clean. Um, don't be t tempted to reuse the old gasket because it's after hardening, you won't be able to compress down on it properly. Uh, waste of time, you need to clean all this out. If you get some crap in here, carb cleaner, make sure all the inside is cleaned out properly. Um, and I like to use a little bit of sandpaper, just nice and light, just to clean this up. And then I get some carb cleaner or paint thinners, whatever you, whatever you have on hand, and clean this up with a, with a clean cloth. And do the same. Just something. Clean it up. Little sand. Clean it off. Car cleaner. Whatever you have. Now, replacing the camshaft is pretty much as easy as that. As you pull it out, you're going to drop it in. But the only difference is this time we got to check. You can see that little dot there on the cam, or sorry, on the crank gear there. We also have one on the camshaft. 
Now some people talk about, oh, you could be a half turnout. There's no such thing as a half turnout. It's a load of nonsense. What you, you can see that down there, that guy down there. That's where the camshaft slides into. That end here. Drop them into position. We'll drop them into position there. And what we got to do is we got to line up. We got to line up these two dots. See here? This one is in line with this one. Then we know our engine is timed to come. Perfect. After that, you get your oil gear again, back to the governor, make sure it's sitting in there tight like that. See that there? This phone is ridiculous. It's right on the end of it there. I can see, can I get that to zoom in a bit better? God. There we are. Right on the end of this governor arm shaft here. Nice and tight. As I said, it just sits in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. After that, then you can lay down your gasket and uh, your sump plate. When you lay in your gasket, as again I said, make sure everything's nice and clean here. Uh, you will want to you will want to clean these bowls up again with carb cleaner, whatever you have, clean them up. And you're going to need some medium strength thread lock or red. And when you do put on your plate again. There is a, you know, Briggs have a, a sequence to what way you're supposed to do, but just, you know, leave common sense prevail here. Put in a bolt here, 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 here. Slight squeeze, put one here, put one here, a slight squeeze down, and that. And then when you're tightening down, come down, tighten a little bit. A little bit more on this one, a bit more on this one. Diagonally, choose a pattern, and keep tightening in that pattern until you get a good squeeze on those bolts. And the job is done. Back together and back on the moor. Um, really is as simple as that. Um, so if you have those valves, you know, if your valve lash is set correctly and your um, that intake valve is not bumping open slightly before top dead center, that's your issue. Camshaft. The um, this engine is only actually a few years old, so I'm kind of surprised it's gone. But that's what it should look like. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching.